Willie D. Live. What's up, family? There's a viral video of a mother at a kid's party twerking. I'm not just talking about for a moment, fam, where the music catch you off guard. I'm talking about full blown bending over, leaning on the fence, twerking. There's some characters. You know how they have these uh, people in these costumes, these kid like uh, character costumes. I don't know uh, what the characters are. I've seen them before, but I don't even know. I'm not familiar with the characters, but anyway, they got these costumes on and, and they're also twerking family. They're twerking. So what does the young lad do? The young lad tries to stop his mother from twerking by punching on her. Yeah, he actually threw a blow. And she pushed him off and then there was other grown people intervening trying to stop him from punching on his mama. I mean, he was trying to get at her. First of all, salute to the youngster for trying to stop his mama from embarrassing her, him, and our whole damn family. I ain't got no problem with that, but I do have a problem with the youngster swinging on his mother. Those punches are going to be a whole lot heavier when he gets older. I do believe that the boy swung on his mama like his mama was, you know, another dude in the streets or something. He was trying to really harm her. And if he's doing that right now, imagine what he's gonna do when he becomes a teenager or older. Talk about toxicity. Good God, where in the hell is the father? How do we get to this point? When I was growing up, fam, I couldn't even fathom the idea of punching on my mother. I never seen any kid punch their mother or father. I never seen it. Today, not so much. Today, God, good God, you know, it's, it's a common occurrence. Nobody is safe. Absolutely nobody is safe. What happened, family? What happened to family? What happened to just self-respect? What happened? We ain't gonna make it like this family. I, it, it's sad to say, but we just are not going to make it. And I know some of you live the type of life where you think that as long as it don't directly affect you and yours, you good. I got you. I know you think that way. I've heard you talk. Well, it ain't got nothing to do with me. Mind your business. See, that mind your business is what got us here. We see children being abused and we won't even say anything because that ain't our business. And some of us won't say anything because we're beating on our own children. We're not going to make it without looking out for each other, family. The reason we're at the point we're at right now is because we stopped caring about each other. We stopped loving each other. We ain't going to make it. You can't make it. I don't think y'all understand what I'm trying to say. We live in a world where uh, people uh, come from all different backgrounds. And this society that we live here in, right here in the United States, 
It's a melting pot. And it's different cultures, it's different ethnicities, people from all sorts of backgrounds. When one group thinks that they're superior to the other, or one person thinks that they're superior, oh, look at them, look at this, look at them, bottom feeders, look at them, look at how, look at how they live, da, 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 da. And we think that that doesn't have a trickle down effect. We're wrong. Let me tell you something, family. We also live in type of society where money, a lot of people have the mantra, money over everything. A lot of people live like that. There are people out there that see themselves like as victims of their circumstances. So they think, think that you got it. You worked for it. You got it. They want it. Why can't they have it? Instead of them being inspired by you to go out and get it for themselves, they want to take your car. They want to take your jewelry. They want to take your money. They want to take your girl. I don't want to get inspired by the, the cute little chick you got with you because you got yours together. You got your stuff together. No, they want your girl and they'll eliminate you to get it. We ain't going to make it, family. We ain't going to make it like this. And what what is wrong with these women with this damn twerking? It's overrated. At this point, man, you just turn around, just just showing your ass right now. That's all it is. It's at this point, it's just showing. You know what I do, family? When I see these videos with women popping up on social media and they start dancing, as soon as they start to like turn around, I click. As soon as I see them getting ready to start turning, you know, because they all kind of do the same thing. It's the same move. If they don't start off Bending over backwards like the mama was. They'll just start off dance, doing a little regular dance. I mean, it, it even be some, some, some of these women got stuff going on. Some of these women are professionals. And they just start dancing, twerking, and they just got to turn around and show their ass. For some reason, the twerking has, it, it's, it's uh, taking over their bodies. The, the music, when the twerk music comes on, it takes over their bodies and it, 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 it possesses them. As soon as they hear, they gotta, uh, uh, yeah, and they just start going, just like, like, like they're, like, like they've been um, hypnotized. Yeah. I'm telling you, fam, it's crazy. It's the craziest thing ever. And you see all types of women doing it. It's not just the regular ratchet women like the one that's in the video. It's all types from all different walks of life. I'm seeing, I'm seeing nurses do it. I've seen real estate agents doing it. I've seen, I've seen uh, uh, lawyers do it. I've seen uh, uh, restauranters do it. All types of women, teachers. But they don't listen to us. We keep telling them, hey man, you know, we ain't looking for that. that ain't what we want to see. Well, you know, that's what they want because they keep on liking it. Yeah. Yeah, you're going to always get likes and you're going to always get attention when you cater to a man's lowest nature. I'll say it again. You're going to always get likes. You're going to always get attention when you cater to a man's lowest nature. But you will get no respect. But I guess that don't matter to some people. Little man got an uphill battle. He got an uphill battle because his mama totally embarrassed him. And you better believe he's going to take that out into the world. And it's going to be a reflection 
What he thinks of his mother will be a reflection of how he treats other women and what he thinks of other women. One final thought before I go. All you grown folks out there, you attention whores who love to show up at kids' events and take over, fall back. Let kids be kids. I applaud the young man for trying to fight for what's right. Le man, you may have lost the battle, but eventually you'll win the war. No more talk.